Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus. Well, wait a minute, I got us. I hope you're having a super fabulous day. In this edition, we explore Adventure Sonic 231 VRK. Here's the layout. It has the uh, kitchen in the back and the bedroom in the front. It has a dinette and also a little sofa, so you get a lot of stuff with this uh, unit. The unloaded vehicle weight is a little under uh, 4,500 pounds and its cargo carrying capacity is 1,325 pounds, approximately. I'm at United RV in Fort Worth, Texas, and they have quite a bit of inventory. They're not uh, suffering for inventory. I was just talking to Mikey, who I've known for about uh, 10 years. And he said they have the best service department in the state of Texas, pretty much. So, so I guess if you're buying an RV and you want great service, this is the place to go. So I'm looking at a Sonic by Venture RV. It's a front bed unit. It has two 20-pound propane tanks and a power tongue jack. And right over here is a shutoff switch for the uh, 12 volt. Again, this is a Sonic 23 uh, 1 231 VRK, if I get that right. Here's a shot of the pass through storage. Quite nice. And there's a little spot there where you can uh, hang your uh, 30 amp. Nice, nicely laid out. Let me get, let me back up just to show you how it looks uh, from this view, okay? So here's from the front with the uh, automotive style window and the Schwintech slide, and that's it, okay? Here you have a gray and the blunk. <laughs> Here you have the gray and the black dumps okay and of course you have your uh, trailer king rsd tires standard suspension nothing overtly amazing it looks like it's huck bolted the frame wow and you have a heated and enclosed underbelly okay quite nice Ooh, there's your 30 amp connection Back here you have another uh, dump, and of course you have scissor jacks all the way around uh, to help you out, keep this thing from bouncing and jouncing around. The outdoor shower, the outside of your uh, water heater. This is a shot of the roof, the air conditioning unit, various vents, slide out. On the left at the bottom there is the satellite and cable connections. You get a nice little uh, tire cover. It says Venture on it. And of course in the back you get a, a connection for a furry on observation or a backup camera. Of course all you need is those two little wires and you can connect any camera you want. Get a four inch uh, stinky slinkery uh, bumper. And there's the suburban heater exhaust. Again, four inch square, stinky, slinky bumper, okay? You get a step above uh, steps, this is the amount of bounce and jounce, and you get a good size Solera awning on this unit. It goes all the way pretty much across the whole thing. Right here's your fresh water fill. And to the left there is the cable connection and of course more alternating current. Here's a tight shot of the tires, these Trailer King uh, RST tires. They're ST uh, 
205-25R14D. And again, just rudimentary uh, suspension system. You can always upgrade that, spend a few more bucks on better shackles and uh, better stuff. It's up to you. Let's go inside. On all these venture units, get a little area there so you can hitch up something. Hitch up your uh, dog, your cat, your rabbit, whatever you have. To the left as you walk in, you have the uh, Dometic stovetop and oven. Very nice. Get two little drawers. Very nice drawers. Nicely boxed. Wood box, metal glide, solid wood fronts, nice handles. Let me close that. Okay. Let me open this up. You get a three burner cooktop. This is stamped steel. This is not cast iron. It looks like cast iron, huh? But it's stamped steel. So they're pretty sneaky at Furiana. And this is the goofiest little backsplash in the universe. Of course, it's already coming off. Let me put it back there. So they should pay me for helping them fix these things, okay? What the hell's going on with these little goofy little jewels? That is goofy. Get a furry on um, microwave, emphasis on micro. And you get these nice, nice doors here. I really like it. It looks pretty classy. Good storage back here. The back end of the microwave. And that's some storage back there. You have the standard, uh, you know, blinds here. That's your uh, Venetian blinds, as we used to call them, in the kitchen area. Get a nice little sink, stainless steel. Very nice. Again, thermofoil countertop, seal membrane, whatever you want to call it. And you get the uh, flavor of the year, the uh, old rub bronze, dark looking hardware. You get a GFCI outlet there, and you get another one over here. And a nice window, you get two windows. <laughs> As I back up, you got some storage under the sink, storage there, and I already showed you that, plus the heater. Let me open this one up. Very nice. Plenty of storage under there for all kinds of stuff. And right there is a good spot, maybe for a small garbage can. Well, you can put it somewhere else, it's up to you. Let me slam this. Slam. Slam. These units, I've been noticing, they say, hey, we're pre-wired for Wi-Fi. And this unit has a dry, unloaded weight of approximately 4,530 pounds, 26 feet, 11 inches, 27 feet. And again, this is a 2021 uh, Venture Sonic 231 VRK. And that's something that shouldn't be there. Here's a Furion refrigerator, DC. 12 volt DC, very nice. It goes back quite a ways. And you may ask, why does it go back quite a ways? Because most refrigerators that are AC propane stop right about here, because the back section here is devoted towards for the ammonia to go up and down, up and down. So since you don't have that, you can go further back in the same amount of space. Nicely built, pretty solid, and very thick. So you get good insulation on these furions. And again, very nice. Very nice. I like it. Let me close it. In this unit, you get a dinette and a jack knife sofa. So you have two sleeping options. One there, one there. This one goes, you know, I estimate five feet, six inches for the kiddos, the children, whatever you want to call them uh, in your neck of the woods. Muchachos y muchachas. And this one, of course, is a jack knife. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Hey, that was easy. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. It's a rather lumpy little uh, setup. But it's nice. It's nice foam. There's a fuse box. You can hear the train in the background. 
I'm not in Folsom Prison, by the way. I am at uh, United RV, okay? One, two areas of storage. Some of your controls here for your awning and your slide out. No controls over here. And you got the TV over there. Nice. This goes up about 18 inches. Goes all the way across from here to there. I estimate four feet. And then I guess you got this nice little TV here that can tilt any way you want. And there's the IRV Technologies head unit. And you got some receptacles there. On this side, you got the controls for the heater, air conditioner. And uh, what do you think of these uh, window valances? They're pretty nice. And these accordion pleated style shades. I'd prefer roller blinds. Roller blinds. Day night roller blinds. But they don't offer that in budget units typically. I do like these uh, seating surfaces. Very nice. And again, this converts to a bed. And this goes back all the way. Very nice. Let's see what's on this side. Make sure. Yep. Same thing on this side. And this, of course, you can use for the center section to make it into a bed, or you can use those two. You have options. Sort of redundant, but that's how they work here at these Sonic units. Let's go into the restroom. It's a mid-bathroom layout. You've got a nice little stainless steel bowl there. Some storage under there. Storage to the left. In the medicine cabinet and storage above. Got this nice little platform here. A platform here. Stainless steel bowl. GFCI uh, protected outlet, water pump, water heater, water heater, light controls. Check your levels here on this rudimentary, rudimentary. This can definitely use a little upgrade. Porcelain bowl toilet. Nice two-piece uh, shower with a uh, plastic you know, head unit. And these are, these are a little bit delicate. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm a little worried about that. I'd rather have a little knob that's, you know, I can move around like that. This is a bit delicate. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the shower and check it out, see if it fits me. Oops, here I am. Three inches, I think that's about three inches. Got this little, Shower curtain, very nice. It's about uh, eye level. <laughs> what do you think? And up here, you get a little vent, a light, and there's the ugliest man in uh, Fort Worth right there. Two levels of uh, storage. You get one, two, three levels of uh, storage here. Very nice. You can put your toilet paper, some of your odds and ends, and this can be another extension of your medicine cabinet. Put some uh, Tupperware containers there. And down here, perfect spot for a small garbage can down there, and for your toilet and cleaning chemicals going to go right there. That's my opinion. What would you do with that space? Thermofoil countertops, stainless steel sink. That's a definite upgrade. I've always complained to the folks at uh, Flagstaff, uh, Microlite, and uh, Rockwood Mini Light that they should have a stainless steel bowl in their restrooms. But they never do. They never do. So you get a window there in their bedroom, the front automotive style window there, and you get another window. So you can have a nice cross breeze from there all the way over here. Perfect, perfect. Just open that up on a nice spring day like today. I don't know what that is all about. I do not know what this is all about. It looks like it has some telephony, telephony? Cat type of uh, connector there. Get right there. And this is open. I guess the uh, the fascia came off while I was driving on the road from Indiana. Oh, huh, they gotta fix that. Of course they will. And there's your nice fan, your most powerful fan. And uh, no storage down here, but you get a nice little closet here, and it's a good size closet. Perfect for a long coat, long, uh, if you're a tall person. Storage goes all the way across. 
Solid wood door fronts, metal handles. Nice. Let me go on this other side and take a quick peek. Right there is where you could connect the TV, the receptacles, the antenna connection, etc., etc. And uh, there. So, what do you think of the back, uh, the headboard area? I had a recent complaint I had about lances. You know, they sell lances for 45, 55,000 bucks. You know, those travel trailers, nice ones. But they, the, right here, starts the window. This window's way down here, and when you lean against it, it can cause damage to your blinds and also. So, it's always a good idea to have a little bit of space there, a little headboard space. Just saying. So, you have these little hidden pockets back here, and you get some. USB ports right there, little connections. And that side has alternating current. Very nice, and of course you have your lights up here. And of course you have your dangling wires right there. <laughs> Sliding door, slides uh, here to there. Let's go sit on the sofa for a while. First I have to make it up. I'm now seated on the uh, jackknife sofa. It's a nice, comfy jackknife sofa. A little bit, uh, not the sturdiest uh, little beast. I would recommend if you're going to buy a jackknife sofa, move it around a couple times back and forth. See if it actually holds up. And if it breaks on the RV lot, you can blame them. What the hell are you trying to sell me? <laughs> so I'm at uh, United RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. They have a very nice uh, and expansive towable department pretty much in the moderate to low end range. And they also have a nice, significant, rather large used department. And of course they have one of the better, you know, service departments around uh, this region and in, in the state of Texas. And uh, they also have a store. Wow, they have a store, a very nice store indeed, a large store, probably the largest store for an RV dealership in the DFW area. So if you're in the region, we're just right off the I-35 west, about, you know, about uh, two miles uh, east of I-35 west, okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much ahead of time. And if you have the time, uh, again, please leave your kind and super friendly comments uh, below the description. Thank you. And if you have uh, the income, please check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jmmgarza. Donate a dollar or two. I'd greatly appreciate it. From Fort Worth, Texas at uh, United RV. Hope you're doing fantastic. It's mid-February. The sun is out. It's going to be 81 degrees in Fort Worth. Last month, it was below freezing. Who would have thought? Weather in For Fort Worth, <laughs> northern Texas. To say the least, it's insane, okay? From Fort Worth, Texas, again, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.